hi guys welcome to our channel in this video we are going to discuss about initial and final setting time of cement so we divided into what is setting time and also what is initial and final setting time of cement and also what are the factors affecting setting time of cement how to find setting times and conclusions so these are the contents what we are going to discuss in this video First let me introduce myself, my name is Vinay and if you are visiting my channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon for getting notifications of our latest videos. Let's start our video. What is setting time? So when water is mixed with cement, it forms a paste that can be molded into any shape due to its plasticity and but after some time the cement will lose its plasticity and starts setting this entire cycle is known as setting time okay in simple terms it is the time required for cement to lose its plasticity is known as setting time and the setting time is categorized into initial setting time and final setting time of cement now let us discuss what is initial and what is final setting time of cement these two properties of cement are very useful in deciding the time required for transportation placing and compaction of cement concrete so that's why these are very important terms to know so what is initial setting time of cement it is the time required for the cement to be able to mold into any desired shape and is known as initial setting time of the cement and what is final setting time of cement it is the time at which cement starts hardening and completely loses its plasticity it is known as final setting time so these are the basic definitions of initial and final setting time of cement next we'll discuss what are the factors affecting setting time of cement so first the mineral composition of cement is the major factor affecting the setting and hardening of cement because these are the main compositions which affect the cement and in the manufacturing process. So these are very important constituents for the hardening and setting time of the cement. The amount of gypsum in the cement is also a major factor affecting the setting time. If the gypsum present in the cement is more then it retards the setting time and vice versa cement's fineness the finer the particles are the quicker the setting time will be so this is also a major factor influencing the setting time of cement water content required for mixing also affects the setting time of cement admixtures are used to retard and accelerate the setting time of cement mostly in the ready mix concrete plants Admixtures are used to retard the time to transport the concrete to the required destination. So this is basic example of accelerators and retarders. And next we will discuss calculation of initial and final setting time of cement. So we can calculate the initial and final setting time of cement as per IS 4031 part 5 1988. For finding the setting time of cement. We use the wicket apparatus and it is conducted in the laboratory. Both the initial and final setting times of cement indicate the quality of the cement. And you can use this experiment for differentiating the best and poor quality of cement. Next apparatus required. Mainly we require wicket apparatus. So you can see in this picture the wicket apparatus are needle mold, plunger or needle, glass plate, these are the main equipment we required for wicket apparatus. Next balance, used to weigh the materials, measuring cylinder, stopwatch, glass plate, enamel tray, travel. So these are the basic apparatus required for conducting experiment. Next test procedure. So initial preparation, so this preparation is same for initial setting time and final setting time 
of cement. So a consistency test has to be done on the cement to know the water content required for normal consistency that is P of cement. Now take 400 grams of cement and make a paste using 0.85 P of water. So you calculated P in the first step. So using 0.85 times the P of water by weight of cement, you can make a paste. Generally, gauge time is kept for 3 to 4 minutes. Now start the stopwatch at the instant when we add water into the cement and note the time as T1. Fill the wicket mold while resisting on a glass plate with the cement paste gauged above. Fill the mold completely and smooth off the top surface. The cement block thus prepared is known as test block which is used for calculating both the initial and final setting time of cement. Now test procedure for initial setting time of cement. Place the wicket mold or test block which is prepared in the initial preparation on the glass plate under the rod bearing the needle. Now gently lower the needle to touch the surface of the mold and quickly release the needle allowing it to penetrate into the mold. In the beginning, the needle fully penetrates into the mold. For every 2 minutes, repeat the procedure until the needle fails to penetrate about 5 mm from the bottom of the mold. Note the time as T2. Now, procedure for final setting time of cement. For finding the final setting time of cement, replace the needle or plunger with the annular attachment and conduct the experiment. The cement is finally set when the needle is applied gently on the mold and makes an impression but attachment fails to do so. Note the time as T3. So this is the test procedure for initial setting time of cement and final setting time of cement. So now we'll discuss the precautions needed to be taken while conducting the experiment. The needle has to be cleaned after every penetration. The mold must be moved slightly for every repetition so that the penetration would not happen at the same place. So this is the basic uh, precaution. Next, the experiment should be conducted at a location where there is no disturbance due to external vibration or noise. The mold must be remained undisturbed from the initial setting time to the final setting time. The experiment should be conducted at a room temperature ranging from 27 degrees to 29 degrees Celsius. Next, calculations of initial and final setting time of cement. For calculating these initial and final setting time of cement, we require T1, T2, T3 from the above procedure. So initial setting time is a T2 minus T1 and final setting time is T3 minus T1. We know here T1 is the time at which water is added to the cement. T2 is the time at which the needle fails to penetrate about 5 mm from the bottom. This is the time at which we got at initial setting time. T3 is the time at which the needle makes an impression on the mold but attachment fails to do so. This is the time we got at final setting time and next standard specifications of setting time of different types of cement. So there are standard specifications of different types of cement we'll discuss in the tabular form. So you can see in the table we have three types of cement OPC 33, 43 and 53. These three will have equal initial and final setting time that is 30 minutes as initial and 600 minutes as final setting time. Next PPC Pozzolona cement. Initial setting time is 30 minutes and final setting time is also 600 minutes. Next, PSC high alumina super sulfated cements also have equal setting times, but low heat have 60 minutes as initial setting time and 600 minutes as final setting time. Next, masonry cement have 90 minutes as initial setting time and 1440 minutes as final setting time. So these are the standard specifications of setting times of different types of cement. So next is the conclusion. So from this study, it is essential that cement should not set 
too rapidly or too slowly. In the first case, if the cement sets too rapidly, the time is insufficient to transport and place the cement concrete. Whereas in the second case, if cement sets too slowly, the cement takes a longer time to get strengthened, which increases the project completion time and project cost also. Next, setting time is the time required for the cement to lose its total plasticity. Initial setting time is the time available to mold the cement into any shape. Initial setting time test is very important for transportation, placing and compaction of cement concrete. The final setting time is the time when cement loses its plasticity and becomes harder. The final setting time test is very important to know the safe removal time of scaffolding or formwork. So these are the important conclusions after studying the initial and final setting times of cement. If you learned something from this video, please like, share and subscribe and also click the bell icon for getting notifications of our latest video. See you in the next video. Thank you.